The laboratory is the heart of a mushroom cultivation operation, acting as a nursery for the mycelium that we as mycologists propagate in order to grow mushrooms. Creating a clean work environment is crucial in this game because any contamination in our growing media can encumber or terminate the development of our precious mycelium. For this purpose, I chose to build a sealed, easy to clean room with filtered ventilation and a HEPA flow workbench inside of my warehouse, ensuring I'll be able to grow healthy, contaminant-free mycelium that will produce high-quality gourmet mushrooms. As you can probably tell, we're doing some building today. This is going to be our clean room slash inoculation area slash lab. We're just gonna build a, a simple eight by 12 uh, wood framed structure. And I have some corrugated plastic over there that I am going to use as the wall paneling. This is uh, the back wall. As you can see, I already laid it out, marked out where the studs are gonna go. So I'm gonna start by securing in the bottom plate but I am just gonna throw my top plate in here too, since that'll make it easier to line up everything. This is the most important tool that I have. Measure twice, cut once, folks. That's a wall. Now I'm gonna play around with it. All right. We got one wall done, this is the back wall. I think I'm gonna do the front wall next, which is gonna involve the door frame. Just finished up framing the front wall, the door frame. Didn't build the door yet. Uh, that's gonna just be a, another sort of frame inside of this one, two by fours. And let's stand this thing up and see what it looks like. All right, it's the front wall. Day two of the clean room build. This is what we're working with right now. We got the front wall and back wall framed out. Today we're gonna try and get the side walls done. We start with uh, cutting the baseboards, and then we'll cut the studs, screw it all together, get this thing assembled. Let's do it. This is the finished frame. Just finished putting in the ceiling joists and the cross pieces to hold my uh, ventilation flanges where I'm planning on putting a ventilation system for the flow hood that recirculates the air as well as uh, positive pressure intake right over there. Got the door finished. Well, just still need to add a handle, a door stop but I think we are about ready to move on to the paneling. So I'm gonna be using corrugated plastic sheets um, secured with screws and then flashing tape to seal it. And yeah, let's get started on that.
nearing the home stretch for the lab build. We got the framing done, we got the paneling done, we got the ventilation installed. I just threw in a electrical socket. So, what do we have left? We're gonna put in the lights now. Just secure a couple lights up here. And then we have to tape up these seams because this is currently not airtight. There's cracks along the bottom, there's cracks between the panels, and that could expose it to the wood on the outside, which we don't want. We want everything in here to be completely inorganic, unlike wood, and cleanable. So, and uh, moisture proof. So we're gonna tape up the seams, corners, everywhere panels connect, tape up the ducts, and then that'll be that. I lied, we're actually gonna be doing the taping first so that the lights don't get in the way while I'm installing this. So this is just a two inch vapor barrier tape. I'm gonna go around all the seams and edges here and make this thing airtight, or at least close enough. Alright guys, taping is done. I did tape the floor, however, it wasn't really sticking as good as I'd hoped to this concrete. Um, there are some areas where the concrete's a little rough. I was having trouble sticking to those areas, so I might have to do something else about that in the future, but for now I think it's good. So, it's kind of dark in here. Let's get, let's get these lights up. Alright guys, we're getting there. Just move the flow hood in. Got the lights all rigged up. It's nice and bright in here. So now I'm just gonna hook up the flow hood to the ventilation system and we'll be good to go. Let's get it done. circulating flow hood and that's the lab done. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour, um, show you the features that I made and some considerations that were going through my head as I was building this thing. But yeah, so we're on the outside so why don't we start there. If we come over here this is actually one of the most important features of this room. This is an intake fan, which is HEPA filtered right there. That's just an inline HEPA filter or sort of a makeshift one glued together to uh, air purifier filters. Put another one on the end, but they're all HEPA. And an inline fan, which pipes clean air right into the top of the tent. You can see that, but you'll see it on the inside. So this is gonna filter air, push it into the tent, creating a higher pressure inside of this room. I keep saying tent, I'm used to working with tents. This is a room. So it's gonna create a higher pressure inside of the room, which is gonna prevent any contaminants from the outside from getting in. While we're out here, I will also show you how the other ventilation is set up. So right up there is just 10 inch ducting, which connects my flow hood to the back. 
But more on that once we go inside. So that is the door. We got some PVC trim here just to keep it nice and sealed. And this is the main event. This is the flow hood. Uh, it's a two by two foot flow hood. I'd like to get a bigger one, but right now that's what I got. I built this probably six months back and it's still going strong. So I'm just gonna ride, ride with it for a little, but we'll see where that goes. And the flow hood, as I was saying when we were outside, is connected through this duct to that ducting, which runs along the top and connects over here. So essentially what happens is air gets sucked up there through the, the ducting down into here through the pre-filter, which is right there, into the plenum, and then out the HEPA filter. And the reason I did this sort of fancy duct work is because this is a pretty small room. This thing is eight by 12 feet, or eight by 11 actually. So if I just had this flow hood sitting here, what would end up happening is the air would come out, it would hit this back wall and just sort of circulate back this way, back towards what I'm working on. And along the way, you know, there's a chance that it might pick up any contaminants that's sitting on the, the floor or the walls and push it back into my work area, which I don't want. So what this ducting allows is for the air to move out of the filter and then up and out of the way. And then goes back around, down, up, out of the way. And this is just gonna create a nice straight column of air coming out this way. Well, actually, probably coming more like this towards the duct, which is just gonna be a lot better for working um, and just will give me the flow that I want. And over here, we have that the other end of that uh, intake duct that I was showing you on the outside. And that's where the air comes in. And there is just a slight crack in the door. I don't know if you can see. And this is where most of the air exits. And it's possible that I missed a few other areas, but if so, you know, this thing will always be positively pressurized. So, any cracks that the air might find, it will just be flowing outward rather than coming in. So yeah, I got the, the lighting up here. These are just T5 LEDs. Makes it nice and bright, which is important. And the flow table, just stainless steel table. Also very important to have stainless steel, make it easy to clean. And yeah, it's going to be a lot more to look at once I move more stuff in here and get working. But for now, this is the lab. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the way the build went. And I think this is really just going to allow me to do a lot more and keep it nice and clean, all my work. So it's been a little over a month since I finished the lab here. And so far, it's been working out really well. I have had no contamination since I started working in there. And it's really just made the workflow a lot better. Um, it's nice to have a room that I can just keep super clean so that I don't have to worry as much about uh, getting contamination in my blocks, spawn, all of that. I did add a few things, so let's go inside and take a look. First of all, I never wear my outside shoes inside the lab, so I have these Crocs that I keep clean. I just slide right on whenever I'm going in there. As you can see, I added this fancy new latch. Just makes it easier to get in and out. So it looks pretty similar to how it did a month ago. I did add proper molding to the bottom of the walls. Uh, this is just 
uh, vinyl molding, which I have attached and then siliconed the edges. And the tape that I had originally put down wasn't really sticking well to the concrete. So I added that and it's made it so much easier to clean. I can literally just dump a bucket of soapy water or I use pine sole in here, mop it around and then vacuum it up without having to worry about it seeping out. Uh, so it's 100% waterproof. I, I added this fridge. This is just where I keep my cultures that need long-term refrigeration. Flow hood system has been working out great. I really like the recirculating effect. Um, it's been very clean. I got some spawn going, as you can see. Nice healthy growth there. And some Petri dishes. Liquid culture. And I also added a air purifier here. This just is always on, making sure that the air in here is nice and filtered. Um, the intake vent should take care of that, but this is just an extra precaution. And the walls have just been super easy to clean. You know, as you can see, I can push against them. So I just take a mop and scrub them down, you know, every week or two. And it's super easy to do, it takes like an hour. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy with the build. If I had my time again, I might consider using steel studs as I did with my uh, fruiting room, which you'll see in the next video, because they're just a little easier to work with and the result is slightly nicer. But I'm thrilled with this lab. It's really given me no issues at all. Um, huge upgrade from what I had before, which is not a lab, <laughs> just a, a flow hood in the middle of my room. If you're looking to build one, I think this design or something similar is pretty good. It's easy to throw up. The materials that I used, wood for the frame and uh, corrugated plastic for the walls, I would highly recommend. They're pretty much the cheapest way to build this while still giving you an awesome final result. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope maybe you got some ideas if you're looking to do this yourself. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna keep following along in this journey of building a urban mushroom farm in New York City. And I will catch you in the next one. It's gonna be a fruiting room build, so stay tuned for that. Take care, guys.